morning everyone! Once again, this is your teacher Irene. And this time, we are going to discuss Mathematics 10 with the topic Generating Patterns. In this video lesson, you are expected to generate pattern from a given succession of objects, numbers, letters, or symbols. Find the nth term of a sequence and write the rule for the nth term of a sequence. At this point of the module, you are about to learn the introduction to sequences and patterns. To understand better how to generate patterns, you will have to perform this activity entitled, Let's Discover. The materials needed for this activity are string and a pair of scissors. First, you are going to prepare five strings with equal lengths. And then, cut the first string once. How many pieces are there? Cut the second string twice. How many pieces are there? Cut the third string thrice. How many pieces are there? Cut the fourth string four times. How many pieces are there? Cut the fifth string five times. How many pieces are there? Based from your answers, complete the table below. Number of cuts represents the X. One, two, three, four, five. Number of pieces represents the Y. After the activity, answer the following questions. Have you seen a pattern? If yes, describe the pattern and state your conjecture. Use a formula or equation in your conjecture where y is the number of pieces and x is the number of cuts. Using your conjecture, how many pieces of strings can be made from 12 cuts? 24 cuts. How about 35 cuts? And 42 cuts. How did you find the activity? Have you given idea how to generate a pattern? Let us process your answers. Based from the task, the complete solution is shown in the table. If you cut the string once, you will have two pieces. If you cut the string twice, you will have three pieces. And if you cut the string thrice, you will have four pieces. If you cut the string four times, you will have five pieces. And if you cut the string five times, you will have six pieces. From the table, notice that the number of pieces of strings is one more than the number of cuts x. Thus, we can state our conjecture as the number of pieces y when a string is cut x times can be computed using the formula y equals x plus 1. Using the formula x plus 1, we can now solve the number of pieces of strings that can be made from 12 cuts, 24 cuts, 35 cuts, and 42 cuts. 12 cuts, x equals 12. Using the formula y equals x plus 1, this is equal to y equals 12 plus 1 equals 13. Therefore, if you cut the strings 12 times, you will have 13 pieces. 24 cuts, x equals 24. y equals 24 plus 1 equals 25. When you cut the strings 24 times, you will have 25 pieces. 35 cuts, x equals 35. y equals 35 plus 1 equals 36. Therefore, you will have 36 pieces. If you cut the string 42 cuts, then you will have y equals 42 plus 1 equals 43. Therefore, you will have 43 pieces. Were you able to get the same answers? If yes, very good. If no, I hope you were able to understand the discussions we had. 
based from the given activity, the number of pieces y equals x plus 1 when the string is cut x times represents a sequence. Thus, the values of y which are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth is an example of a sequence. The word sequence means an order in which one thing follows another in succession. A sequence is an ordered list. For another example, if we write x, 2x squared, 3x cubed, 4x to the 4th, 5x to the 5th, what would be the next term in the sequence? The answer is 6x to the 6th power. Therefore, by definition, a sequence is a set of objects which is listed in a specific order, one after another. Each member or element in the sequence is called term. The term is a sequence can be written as a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, up to a sub n, which means a sub 1 is the first term, a sub 2 is the second term, a sub 3 is the third term, and a sub n is the nth term, and so on. Sequences are classified into finite and infinite. Finite sequence is a sequence where the domain of the function is a finite subset of the set of positive integers. A finite sequence contains a limited number of terms. This means it has an end or last term. Examples Days of the week Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. First 10 positive perfect square 1 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. Look at this example. What are the first five terms of a sequence defined by the function f of n equals 2n minus 1? Here is the solution. Since we are asked to find the first terms of the sequence, the values of n ranges from 1 to 5. Follow how the sequence of terms determined from n equals 1 to n equals 5. First term, f of 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1. For the second term, f of 2 equals 2 times 2 minus 1 equals 3. f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 1 equals 5. For the fourth term, we have f of 4 equals 2 times 4 minus 1 equals 7. Fifth term, f of 5 equals 2 times 5 minus 1 equals 9. Therefore, the sequence defined by the function f of n equals 2n minus 1 is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Each term of the sequence is separated by a comma. For the example above, you can see that there are only 5 terms in the sequence. So we say that the sequence is an example of finite sequence. Infinite sequence is a sequence where the domain of the function involves an infinite subset of the set of positive integers. The ellipses at the end of the following examples shows that the sequence are infinite. Examples Counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Number 2, example Multiples of 5 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on and so forth. Let's have example number 2. Find the sequence defined by f of n equals 2n. f of 1 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. f of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 equals 4. f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 equals 6. f of 4 is equal to 2 times 4 equals 8 
and f of n is equal to 2 times n equals 2n. The sequence defined by f of n equals 2n is 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, up to 2n, and so forth. The example above illustrates a sequence which is infinite. The terms are still separated by commas. The three dots between 8 and 2n represents the fifth term up to the n minus 1 raised to nth term, while the three dots after 2n indicate infinitely many terms after the nth term. Sometimes, a pattern in a sequence can be obtained and a sequence can be written using a general term. In the previous example, x, 2x squared, 3x cubed, 4x to the 4th, 5x to the 5th, 6x to the 6th power, each term has the same exponent and coefficient. We can write this sequence as a of n equals n x raised to n, where n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a sub n is called the general or the nth term. Finding several terms of a sequence given the general form or general term. Example number 1. Find the first four terms of a sequence a sub n equals 2n minus 1. To find for the first term, let n equals 1. Let us use the given general term. a of n is equal to 2n minus 1. To solve for the first term, let n equals 1. This 1 becomes a of 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 1. a of 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the first term is equal to 1. Repeat the same process for the second to the fourth term. Okay, let n equals 2 for the second term. a of 2 equals 2 times 2 minus 1. a of 2 is equal to 4 minus 1. Therefore, a of 2 is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. Let's have the third term. a a sub 3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 1. So we have 6 minus 1. Therefore, a sub 3 is equal to 5. Is equal to 5. Let's have the fourth term. a sub 4 is equal to 2 times 4 minus 1. Equal to 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1. Therefore, a sub 4 is equal to 8 minus 1 is 7. Therefore, the first four terms of the sequence are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Example number 2. Write the general term of the sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, 33, and so on and so forth. Notice that each of term is 7 more than the previous term. We can search the pattern using a tabular form. In the pattern, the number of times that 7 is added to 5 is 1 less than the nth term n minus 1. Thus, a of n is equal to 5 plus 7 times n minus 1. So let us equate a sub n and 5 plus 7 n minus 1. Apply distributive property of multiplication. This becomes a sub n equals 5 plus 7 times n is 7 n. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Combine similar terms, we have a sub n equals 7 n minus 2. Therefore, the n term of the sequence is a of n equals 7n minus 2, where n is equal to 1, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth.
Now, it's your turn to apply the concept on sequences and patterns to find the specified term of a sequence when given its general term and vice versa. Let's have activity number 3 entitled, Your Turn. Direction, answer what is asked in each set of exercises on a separate sheet of paper.